Scott Gillingham will be the 44th mayor of Winnipeg, but it wasn't until late in the evening on election night that that path was secured. Here's how the mayoral race boiled down. Shortly after polls closed at 8 p.m., former mayor Glenn Murray took an early lead, up thousands of votes, with one local news outlet declaring Murray the winner prematurely. But as results continued to pour in and the race got closer, confusion among the two leading camps. It was really scary because at one point they declared Glenn as the mayor and then next thing you knew, Scott was the mayor and my heart stopped because it didn't make any sense. While reinvigorated, Gillingham supporters eagerly awaited the mayor elect's arrival. Murray thanked volunteers and supporters before conceding and wishing Gillingham good luck. You're about to get the best job in this country. Uh, being mayor of Winnipeg is a huge privilege. Um, any support I can give you, I will. To all of you who voted and worked so hard for me, thank you very much. Don't be discouraged. All the things that we believed in and worked on are things that matter, and we're going to get up tomorrow and work on them together. Shortly after, Gillingham took to the podium. Next week, it will be my high honour to serve and to govern and to lead this city and to build on that history with every skill that I can muster. Gillingham said during the confusion of who won, he took a deep breath, stayed calm while his family got excited for his potential win. We asked Gillingham what he plans to tackle first upon being sworn in. The first thing I'm going to do is, is, uh, is fulfill the promise I made to build a strategic plan with all of council. Um, the next step we need to do is to, as I said, bring council together and establish a plan for the next four years that are the priorities of Winnipeg and, uh, and then build the budget around that plan, the budget to fund that plan. His supporters cited Gillingham's in interest in developing Winnipeg is their reason for supporting him. Gillingham pledged to raise property taxes during his tenure as mayor to pay for roads and other city services. Seeing his determination, seeing his uh, how passionate he's about this city meant a lot to me. Scott's plan for economic development in the city of Winnipeg, building transit, building everything in Winnipeg to make it better and to unite Winnipeg for a stronger city and a better city. He want to develop the infrastructure, uh, he want to control the crime, overall he want to develop the City. That's why I'm a supporter of Scott Gillingham. Gillingham met with Premier Stephenson Thursday and says the city and province share challenges. He says he's dedicated to building relationships between all levels of government to solve them. The relationship between the province and the city has improved over the last several months, and I want to continue to build on that. In Winnipeg, Mike Albany, City News.